Hello and welcome to the Telescope. Every week we bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. We have brought you some amazing cars in 2023, from the 1265 horsepower quad motor Zika 001 FR to the $12,000 BYD Seagull. So what can you expect in 2024? First up is the Li Auto Mega that we've already talked about in a previous video. It was originally scheduled to be launched in December, but some small changes to the interior means it will now be launched and delivered in March. It tries to explore a new body style, extremely simplistic, minimum drag, maximum cabin space. Are those benefits enough to convince the market about the aesthetics? Because the Mega is Li Auto's flagship battery electric vehicle, there will also be three gradually smaller models that will all inherit this body style. The camouflaged car is probably the smallest one since it has normal doors. The bigger models are expected to have sliding second row doors. There will also be this, the L6, Li Auto's new entry-level range extender SUV. This is the only picture we have. It is the same recipe we've seen in the L987, but in a smaller package. Although I must say, it doesn't look that small. It's smaller than the L7, which is an over 5-meter SUV. So let's call it normal-sized. The current L7 Air, which is Liotto's cheapest offering at the moment after discounts, is around $40,000. And we know its major rival, the IOTO M7, starts at $35,000. I expect the L6 to at least match the price of the IOTO M7, if not undercut it. Now, Xpun. I have no pictures of any of Xpun's 2024 upcoming models, so you're going to have to just take my words for it. The most exciting model from Xpun is originally not an Xpun, but from DD, yes, Uber's Chinese equivalents. DD has almost finished the engineering of the whole car, but changes in the macroclimate means they dropped the project and sold everything to Xpun. Xpun CEO He Xiaopeng mentioned in several interviews that this car, codenamed as Mona, is already a highly developed model with billions of investment pumped into it. Xpeng will equip its own proven digital cockpit and XNGP-assisted driving system, and hopefully bring the urban-assisted driving to the 150,000 RMB price point. That's just $21,000. Oh, and it's a saloon. Although the word saloon in Chinese language also includes hatchback, so I'm not so sure. We should also see a facelift of the G6, G9 and the P7. The major upgrade is the Qualcomm 8295 digital copy that we've seen on the Xpeng X9. Neil will not have a brand new model in 2024, but a series of facelifts. First in line should be the ET7 and the ES7. They will receive the Qualcomm 8295 digital cockpit upgrade, and we should also expect some improvement to the ET7's rear cabin. Neil's major push in 2024 is its sub-brand currently codenamed as the Alps. It is rumored to be a Model Y rival with 900 volt architecture, battery swap of a single motor version, so should be fairly efficient, and a more competitive price. William Lee says the Alps launch will probably happen towards the end of 2024, and the car will be delivered in the same calendar year. The Baojun Yup review is Telescope's most watched video in 2023, and they plan to release the four door version of the Yelp. Let's call it the Yelp Plus. For whatever reason, babies become less cute when they grow up, doesn't it? Let's wait for the final reveal. Baojun also has an EV saloon and two SUVs in the pipeline, but we currently don't know any more than that. Now, the Stellantis-backed Leap Motor. I've already told you about the upcoming C10. It's an Audi Q5-sized SUV that looks incredible value when you consider the range extender version could be priced as low as 16.7 thousand US dollar. Yes, that price with this kind of interior. And it will be Leap Motor's first global car. It is designed to fully meet the Euro NCAP safety standard. Question is, which Stellantis brand will the C10 finally wear when it arrives in Europe? Leap Motor also has the C16 in the pipeline. It is a full-size, high-end SUV that on specs at least rivals the Li Auto L9 and the IOTO M9. But being Leap Motor, I'm expecting a very Leap Motor pricing. Zika has so many models coming in 2024 that I have to speed up, otherwise this video will be half an hour long. The most predictable one is the Zika 007 Touring. I will drive the saloon tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. 
This rendering is done by La Mian Shifu Design, who is a very well-known designer on Weibo. He's also very generous with his content. It's free to repost as long as credited correctly. For more detail, you can check out this early first look on the saloon or wait for my review this week. Expect additional second row headroom, a bigger boot at a cost of maybe 5% range. And there is the 007 SUV, which to all intents and purposes looks like a head-on rival for the Neo ES6. It will have 800 volt and a single motor version, which all points to a much longer range than the ES6, but it cannot battery swap. Also, considering the ultra-aggressive pricing of the saloon version, the 007 will probably have a very significant price advantage. This car is codenamed as the CM2E. It already looks very interesting, right? A relatively small MPV that looks this futuristic. But what if I tell you it's a 3 plus 3? Yes, both rows can sit three passengers. This is a pattern filing from Zika on the front seat. You can see how the middle jumper seat folds up to be the central armrest. That's not all. The doors open like this on both sides. It doesn't have B pillars. This has got to be the most interesting EVs in 2024. If it manages to be as promising as I think it is, Volkswagen ID buzzed, you are doomed. The central pillar of the Zika brand, the mother car of all Geely modern EVs, the Zika 001 will receive a major facelift this year. The only thing we can be certain of is it will have the 800 volt powertrain. Similar powertrain upgrade might also happen to the Zika 009, which is the mother car of the Volvo EM90. Avatar has two new models currently codenamed as the E15 and the E16. It is a pair of saloon SUV combo similar to the current Avatar 11 and 12, but smaller. The only additional info I know other than the naming about these two is the smaller saloon will still feature the custom battery pack, which has a hole in the second row footwell to improve rear passenger comfort. You have to admit that is quite a lineup and I've not included any cars from the Huawei family and the GAC family and also the very anticipated upcoming Xiaomi SU7. 2024 is shaping up to be a very exciting year for Chinese electric vehicles. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.